Some call it singing, some call it humming, some call it musical, and many call it annoying. But one thing they can all agree on is that San Francisco's Golden Gate Bridge is making a noise. Last year, bridge officials made changes to his sidewalk safety railing on the western side of the structure. They installed thinner slats so more air could flow through, and they said they knew the bridge would sing when there were high winds. The tonal or organ-like sound can be heard for miles away. According to a bridge spokesman, some people think it's, quote, meditative and angelic. But officials say most people don't like it. And while their design change was reportedly necessary to keep the bridge safe, other workers on the Golden Gate say they're developing a fix for the sound, which they'll discuss in the months ahead. The Golden Gate Bridge gets its name because it spans what's called the Golden Gate Strait. This is a three mile long and one mile wide body of water that connects the Pacific Ocean to the San Francisco Bay. Before the Golden Gate Bridge, there was a bustling ferry system uh, that ran people and commerce between San Francisco and the Redwood Empire to the north. It's actually unknown how many people worked on the Golden Gate Bridge at the time of construction uh, because records were, were scarce from that time. Uh, today we have close to 200 employees who work to maintain, to paint, to weld, to uh, make sure that the bridge is in, in good and safe operating condition. So we're right now getting sandblasting on the outer part of the bridge, which is up underneath. Right now, we're, where the walkway is, where the pedestrians ride after 3.30, so the cars are probably just about 15 feet out. You can't feel it, but the bridge is probably moving, you know, like this as we're standing. In a containment like this, a rough estimate, 16 people sandblasting for a month and a half. Our painters will go out to the most critical, you know, structural areas of the bridge where the fog and the salt and the wind has corroded the paint. The salt eats this bridge up, the fog eats this bridge up. If we don't continue to paint it, it's just gonna rot away. Iron workers at the Golden Gate Bridge do everything from swing stages to platforms, structural steel replacement. We take out the old rivets, put in high strength bolts in their place, and replace all the steel when it gets rusted out there to make sure it's safe for the public. The nickname for the iron workers is uh, Cowboys in the Sky. Back in the day, they'd say, they'd look up there and say, look at those crazy cowboys up there. And so the name kind of stuck, Cowboys in the Sky. Folks out there every day making sure that the bridge is structurally sound and looking good. The current's pretty strong around here. I mean, you can end up out there quicker than you know it. Right here is one of our foghorns. We all have two of them down here, one, over, one on the east side, one on the west side. We've always had foghorns here at the bridge since, the, since it was built. Not much changes in foghorns, they just make noise. We tried automated systems that just doesn't, doesn't work. So the, the old standby system of actually visually seeing works the best because there's people here 24-7. So as of July of 2018, the toll to cross the Golden Gate Bridge is $7 if you have a fast track or $8 if you don't, maybe you're out from out of town. And this supports much of the work that happens on a daily basis to maintain the bridge, to keep it looking good, and ensure that it's accessible for everyone. <laughs>